Hello, beautiful people. Welcome you back to my YouTube channel. My name is Patnon. So I want to say a very big thank you to you guys, all my subscribers. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for always supporting, for always stopping by. I appreciate you guys a lot. I can't thank you enough. Like, I am not in here without you guys. Thank you so, so much. And if you're here for the first time, you're welcome. Please, please, please also do subscribe, okay? And do not forget to turn your bell notification bells on because that is the only way you get notified every single time I upload a new video, okay? Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful... um um airline free dress the sleeveless dress okay and it's super easy trust me so just um stay tuned to the end of this tutorial as i take you through the process let's get to work so here this is the fabric i'm working with um the full measurement i'm working with is uh 40 okay so i'm going to be having a little bit of Flare, more like a, a bit of ruffle on the lower part of the dress so i'm going to split the length into two it's 40 inches in length and uh, from the shoulder to the lower part of the dress i'll make it 32 because i want the the ruffle at the lower part to be about eight inches okay so 32 for the upper side then eight inches for the lower side okay yes so I'm going to be cutting out the upper um, part of this dress first. So um, from the shoulder to the, 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 the lower part of this dress, it's going to be 32, right? So I'm going to be adding some extra um, inch of allowance for joining at the shoulder part and also on the lower part, say about one inch is fine, so which makes it 33. So I'm just going ahead and take note of my 33 inches length mark from here mark 33 but i'm adding an extra half an inch to it okay so that in case there's any um excess i can always trim it off i usually like to do that so now the next thing i'm going to put now I should put in my chest line. See, it's a sleeveless. I'm working with um, eight and a half inch. Okay. Then the waist line, I'll do 16. Then the hip line, I'll do 24. So I'll just get a straight line. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do now is to put in um, the shoulder measurement. The shoulder of this person is um, um, 14, so divide by 2, that's 7. But first of all, let me create my 8 by 3 inches mark so I can get my shoulder slope. So 8 inches from here, I come down by 1 inch. Then from here... I have three inch, so I'll just get my slope. So I'll put in the shoulder measurements here of um, 40 divided by two, seven plus half of an inch. That's seven and a half. So I'll also extend it here so I can get an angle 90 for my armhole curve. So here it is. For my armhole curve so i'll come in here from here to here i'll get the midpoint of four i'll come in by half of an inch so i can get the front armhole okay so from here i'll put in the neckline doing four for the front that's the neck width is four then the neck depth is um five so i'm just taking it this way okay then i'll come here and put in the bust measurements which is um 36 if i divide it by four i have nine 
I'll add extra two and a half inches to that. Then on the waistline, which is the 32 divided by four, I have eight. Also add the extra two and a half. Then on the fifth line, which is 42 divided by four, I have um, 10.5. I also add an extra 2.5 inch to that, okay? Then on the, the lower part, I'm just going to put in what I have on the hip line here as well. 10.5 plus an extra 2.5. Okay, so because I want it to have an A-line effect, okay? So I'm just going to put in some extra 2 to 3 inches extra to the lower part. So here I have 3, so I'll just take note of that and that's it so what is left now is just to connect these lines together so here we have it okay yeah so um Remember, I said this is going to be a sleeveless. Okay, so when it comes to sleeveless, you need to also take note of the shoulder line. Um, sleeveless shouldn't exceed three inches, okay, in width. And uh, what I have here is 3.5, which is um, okay, because by the time I hem both sides, I think I'll have about two and a half inches, which is fine. So if it had been more, I would have just reduced it and connect it to this m -hole. but since what I have here is favorable, so I'll just um, work with it. So that's it. We're done. You can see it's very, very easy and straightforward. All is left now is just to cut this out. So here it is for the front piece. I've not cut out the neckline yet. I'll use this to cut out the back piece. So here I have the front placed over this back piece with um, a zipper allowance of uh, about um, two inch here. Okay, so before I cut this out, I'll just take note of the back neckline. You know, for the front, I used five inches depth so for the front, I want to go up, I'll make it um, three inches, okay? So I'll just take it from here. So for the back neckline, then the front neckline. So I'll go ahead and cut out um, for the back neckline first. I've cut out the um, back armhole first before cutting out this front armhole. So I'm just ruling back that line because the back armhole is not supposed to go in this way like this, this front armhole. So I'll just maintain this line and cut out my back armhole. So for this waistline, I'll just go in by half of an inch a bit on this waistline. 
just to eliminate any form of um, um, zipper fold. On this waistline, I just went in half an inch here. I'll just take it this way and down here. So I'm cutting this out off. And so guys, as you can see, we're done with this piece. You can see it's quite easy to make, okay? Yes, so that's it guys. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to cut out lining for this exact piece, okay? Then I'll use the lining to, you know, turn it all over and um, also join the sides. Then I'll come back to show you the next step. And here guys, I'm done using the lining to turn this part together. I've also um, fixed the zipper. Okay, to this back side so what is left now is to attach the ruffle to the lower part of this dress so if you remember when i was cutting out i put an extra half an inch at the lower part just in case of any you know alteration so i later realized i needed to put a side that which i ended up using one inch okay so um that half inch here was quite useful. So, but it would be better if I'd even used one because what I used was one inch here. So that kind of reduced it a bit on this um, front piece. Okay, so, and you know, what we needed for this front piece was 32 inches in length. So right now what I have is, um, what I have now is 31.5, okay? Yeah, so the lower part, I'm supposed to cut out eight inches okay so i'll just add half an inch to that so instead of eight inches i'll, I'll be making it eight and a half so that it can you know make up for the length i hope you understand that okay so that's it so what is left now will be to join the sides okay so um if i take my measurements from the bust measurement which is um 36 so what i will need to sew up this side will be about one and a half inch on both sides i'm going to be sewing one and a half inch all the way even taking to, i'm taking note of the waist and also the hip one and a half inch will take it all the way so now at this lower part what i have here you know this we are we're talking about two pieces now so what i have here is 29 and if i if i end up sewing out taking out one and a half inch away one and a half inch it will making it three inches right okay so that means if i take three from this 29 i'll be left to 26 so 26 for the front piece 26 for the back piece making it 52 okay so at the end of the day when i'm done joining the sides the total circumference i will have here will be 52 okay taking note of that so i'm going to open up the zipper part and if you see the zip what I, what I used there was just um, three quarter inch, okay? So which makes it one and a half inch. So if I add that one and a half to the 52, that will be about 53.5, okay? If I just approximately to 54. So this is just to give me an idea of the length of the rough, uh, what I'm going to use to cut out my rough, okay? Unfortunately for me, I don't have so much of a leftover fabric, okay? So, it's, so normally, with what I have, 54, all I need to do is to multiply by 2, 2.5, or 3. You know, the more you multiply, with the more um, quantity you have, the more rough it's going to give you, okay? So, in this case, I have 54, right? And what I have here is not even up to 54 times 2. So, what I have here is um, 35 that's on fold, which makes it 70, right? Okay. And uh, I still have some extra little pieces. I can still get something to add to it. Okay. Yeah. But the, the, the thing I'm trying to point out now is that I'm not going to get up to 54 times 2, which is supposed to be um, 108 in length. Okay. But so far, it's much more more than 
um, the 54, right, which is approximately up to that, I can still work with it. So all I'm going to do is just make my pleats, you know, little pleats, that's all. I'm going to make a little pleat, okay, to accommodate all the measurements I have, okay, so it's still going to give me something, uh, you know, nice. So what I'll do now is just to go join the sides together and um, um, use this piece to create um, the rough, okay, yes. So having in mind as well that the length I'm supposed to cut out is 8.5, right? I'm also going to add the allowance for joining it to this upper part and the allowance for hemming it at the lower part of the dress. So that's it, guys. So once I'm done, this, this dress is ready. So I'll just go finish that up and I'll come back to show you the final look of this dress. And yeah, guys, this dress is ready. Very simple, stylish, and beautiful. This is lovely. So, guys, that brings us to the end of today's tutorials. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I appreciate your comment in the comment section. Please go ahead and like this video, share, and if you have not subscribed, please do. I really appreciate that. Thank you again for watching, and see you on the next video. Have a beautiful day.